Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do my top 10 beauty must-haves. And I wanted to do it because I think that's, I like watching those videos of other people's and just seeing why they like them so much. Do I need it? And um, I thought it would be really, really easy. And I actually, I even asked my best friend, I was like, what are yours? And um, I do have a list, I do. I'm not going to say that it could never change, but for now, that is definitely my must-haves. So, let me show you. What is this? What? What? What is this? What? Ugh. Okay, number one, and probably is number one, this was a no-brainer. This was the first thing, and it's dirty right now, but um, the beauty blender. This thing came out, gosh, I don't know, two, three years ago maybe, game changer. Like, this thing is amazing. I love it. And I even got my best friend to, I gave her one, and I was like, just try it. Just try it. Maybe it's not a game changer for you, but I think you'll like it. And she did. And it's, uh, and she's not even, you know, she's not even into makeup like I am and that's okay maybe people shouldn't be it's a little sick now what I like to do with it is I like to get it wet first right now it's dry but I do I, I put it under water kind of do like the stress ball type thing with it make sure it's got it's full and then wring it out and do it as you would you can do a concealer you could do a foundation with it um, touch up later with it I love this thing. What's great about it is that if you put on too much concealer, too much foundation, we, we, we do that, and it will really pick up the excess product and still apply it very well. It's kind of that almost airbrush feel, like that airbrush look when you're done. Love it. Love it. Next product is one that I've actually already talked about a few times, and I haven't even put that many videos up, is the Kat Von D Trooper Eyeliner. And I do, I, this is one of those where I like, it came to my mind first, but I mean, I could see it changing potentially down the road, it is eyeliner, but um, this little thing is almost like, I call it like a Sharpie pen, and I have a new one still in the package because I just finished my other one. I really like it. I, it's kind of like a, a, it's like a marker, and it's very, very black, and it's, it goes on so smooth. So for me, I do not have a steady hand. I don't anticipate myself ever having a steady hand. So this thing works really well for me. I'm wearing it today. Um, love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Next item was also kind of easy for me. The MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Painterly. This is an eyeshadow base, and it, to me, there's good ones out there for sure, but tried and true. Like, this one works the best, in my opinion, and I, I love it. They have other colors, too. I don't even have those ones. I would totally add them, but Painterly, I think it's just perfect. It's very much that just skin tone of me and I love it. Love it. Love it. Next item is fairly new and it's already on the must-have list and that is the Shade and Light Contour Kit from Kat Von D and I love this thing like I love it. It has every shade that you need to contour. I love using this middle powder right here um, to set my under eye. I think it works really well. It has a yellow tone, which at first I was like, why do people do that? Like, I don't, I don't get it. And then I did it. And then I got it. And that's what I've used since. Yeah. But love it. Love the shades. It, it's, love it. It's more of, I think, a cooler tone shades down here. A lot of people don't like that. So, I mean, most, this is like a favorite from many, many people, but, um, yeah, it works really well. 
and the pans in here are big because I really like the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit too. Love it. Not knocking it at all, but I think it's very, very similar in quality to this one and the pans in this one are much bigger, much bigger. So yeah. Next item is a product from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and again, I think this is kind of a fan favorite to many people out there, and it is the Brow Wiz, and it's a little eyebrow pencil. One side has a little spoolie, I don't know if you can see that or not, and the other side, of course, is the pencil. And I'm wearing that today. And I've been kind of on a kick recently of just doing powders in my brows, just like very natural. But at the end of the day, too, I still go back to this. It's the simplest thing to use, in my opinion. I I have it in dark brown, in case anyone wanted to know. But I just, I like to really like define my brow with it. It's simple. It's and, you know, why is it so much better than another brand pencil out there, brown pencil? And I don't know, <laughs> but it's, it's waxy, a little waxy, I guess, but in a good way. And it just has a very, like, in, to me, a very natural look. And I really like that. Um, so, yeah, I've gone through quite a few of these. Thanks, babe. Next item is... Benefits Professional. I feel like everybody's heard of this now. I've used a lot of, it's a face primer, if you have not heard of it. I feel like everyone has maybe tried this at some point. Um, and I have really yet to hear any like bad reviews on it. It's pretty amazing. Um, it's not going to be one though really that's going to give you like a, um, a dewy complexion. For me, I like that. I'm very oily skinned as it is, and this really helps it. But other people do like that look, and so I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it if that is what you like. There's a lot of primers on the market, and I think a lot of them are great, so I'm even still trying other ones just to see, but I still go back to this one. This is a little like um, deluxe sample size one, and I have like four of them. The next item is actually something that I don't have in its original packaging, how it comes when you just purchase it by itself, and that is the uh, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Been around a while, and I think it is the best bronzer out there for contouring. Um, no shimmer in it, and it smells really good. It smells like hot chocolate, because mm. it's actually made with cocoa powder extract in it and I love it. But what I do have is I have recently gotten the Little Black Book of Bronzers. I feel like Vanna White. And this has multiple in it. And oh, oh, mm, makes me hungry. Milk Chocolate Soleil is the top middle one here. I use them all. I like them, but this one is definitely my favorite. I think it is great. I stays on all day. You can use it as just a regular bronzer. You can use it to do a really defined contour, contour your nose, whatever, I don't know, whatever you want to do. And I love this thing. I, this, I believe is still out for sale. Um, yeah, I would recommend it. Love it. I have another palette that I got over Christmas. That was the Everything Nice palette. And that also had a pan. It had like eyeshadows and then um, a bronzer and a blush and the bronzer was that that as well so I um, I technically do have a couple even though I don't have the original Good. my next item is not something that the one that I have is not necessarily my favorite I, I mean I love it but I this is just a beauty must-have in my collection is translucent powder and it doesn't necessarily have to be this one. Um, I do really like it though. It is the NARS Translucent Press Powder. I actually do, I think, prefer it though in the loose powder, like all over, just take a brush all over. Um, can be a little messy, but it's translucent. ELF has one that I've used and it's not bad. I like it. But yeah, I have to have it. Like I said, I'm very oily skinned. It doesn't take long. I just did my makeup like 
an hour ago and give it like five more minutes. So I need this. I have one in my bag. I have one just here. Um, sometimes I have them throughout the house. Yeah. So my next item is a blending brush for eyeshadow. And this one is an It Cosmetics blending brush. I love it. Um, I will say I don't have a ton of brushes that are super high end. Um, I mean, I guess this technically is, but um, I haven't really put a lot of money into my brushes yet. Thanks, honey. So my next item is pretty random. And I actually, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna cheat, hold on. So my last item, I I couldn't decide between two other things. I'm gonna do 11. And one being a mascara. I'm like, how do I not have a mascara on my list? It has to be on my list. But I don't necessarily have one that is like my holy grail one. I love the Better Than Sex Too Faced mascara. I think anyone that's used it loves it. But I will say, I feel like it kind of flakes on me throughout the day. Um, it's not waterproof, which actually I do prefer. I don't really like waterproof mascara. It, 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 when I want it to come off, I want it off. And it's, I find it really hard to remove. But anyway, um, so I don't necessarily have a favorite mascara, but I really have been enjoying the Makeup Forever one. Um, I think it's like Smoky, yeah, Smoky Extravagant is what it's called. Um, I really like it. It's kind of an interesting wand to it. Let me see, I have one open here. Yeah, it kind of has an interesting wand to it, different than other ones that I've seen. Um, I don't know if you can like tell, but it kind of like starts big. And then goes down. I don't know. I was like, I don't know if I like that. And I liked it. But, um, yeah. So, definitely a mascara. Because even if you don't do your makeup at all, like, I just think it's... You could just pop on some mascara and you look way more put together. So, I'd have to have one in my collection. Definitely. But what I was... <laughs> what I was not sure how to pick that or the other was because I think... I don't really know how people do it if they don't have them and don't use them, is Q-tips. I have to have Q-tips. Like, have to. I use them to get, like, makeup remover up in my eye in certain areas. Um, I use it to even dab on eyeshadow in a certain spot. I, I mean, I use these things. I, when <laughs> Number one reason is, of course, when you put your bottom uh, mascara on. I don't think I have ever done it successfully without smudging the bottom. Yeah. So these work great. And you wait for your... When you do that, because I'm sure you've done it too, as much as you want to go and get in there, wait, let it dry, <laughs> and it'll drive you nuts while it's doing that, but let it dry, and then just get in there with a the Q-tip, and it comes right off. But, yeah, yeah. So I have to have Q-tips. I have plenty of Q-tips. I mean, I clean my ears with them, too, so. Guys, that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed. I would love to know what your top 10 beauty must-haves are. Leave it in the comments for me, and I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching.